Okay, so in this example, we're being asked to find the area under the curve, and we must use integration. So notice here, I have f of x equals x squared, and it's graphed over here to the right. And we want to find this area under the curve, going from 0 to 2. So this area here, shaded in green. So again, in order to find the area under the curve, we must integrate. So we need to integrate x squared in respect to x. Okay, so we need to integrate x squared in respect to x, okay, and this is going to be from 2 to 0. This is often referred to my upper limit, while this is my lower limit. And this is going to be the area under the curve. Okay, so we have to integrate, so how do we do that? Well, remember the rule when we're using integration. And this goes back to the fundamental theorem of calculus. So if I have the following, if I have x to the n, I need to take the antiderivative so that I can integrate. And when you take the antiderivative, it's going to look like this. You'll have x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. That's going to be the antiderivative. Okay? So going back to this, right, this tells us we need to do the following. Okay? We need to take the antiderivative of f of x at 2. So the antiderivative of f of x at 2 minus the antiderivative of f of x at 0. Okay? This is how we're going to find the area under the curve. So, we need to take the antiderivative of x squared. Well, what is that going to be? Let's just follow our template right here. Okay, so I have x squared. Okay? So taking the antiderivative, I simply add 1, so x to the third, and then this number goes on our denominator, just like that. There it is. There's the antiderivative of x squared. Okay, so now we can go ahead and plug this in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write it right over here. So I have x to the third over 3. There's our antiderivative. Let's go ahead and plug it in now. So let's erase this. So what I'm going to have is the following. I'm going to have, again using our antiderivative, we have 2 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. So when we do this, I can see that I have a 0 in my numerator. So this whole thing is just going to be 0, right? It cancels out. 2 cubed is going to be 8 and then just over 3. So I have 8 over 3. This is going to be the area underneath the curve. So you could say units squared. And this is going to be your final answer. So this is the area under the curve, and we found it by using integration. Okay, and that is it.